After the November election and the Capitol insurrection, the president is leaving the country and Washington more divided than ever. A 50-50 split in the Senate, uh, a perfect example of that perhaps. With us now are two men who know about that, both former majority leaders, Democratic Senator Tom Daschle and Republican Senator Trent Lott. Gentlemen, thanks so much for taking the time this morning. Happy to be with you. Glad to be with uh, you. It's good to have you together. It really is. Uh, you've talked about being friends, right, and the working relationship you had on the on on the Hill when you were both there, Senator Lott, you said I respected him. Speaking of, of former Senator Daschle, I trusted him. It's called communication leadership. I just wonder: is the reality today that that Senate doesn't exist anymore? That, that, that the country and the politics, beyond the rhetoric, but that the politics are so divided with gerrymandering, etc., that that kind of relationship just is impossible anymore. Well, you know, Tom and I did have a unique relationship, and uh, we had some hard times we had to deal with, including an impeachment trial and the 50 50 Senate and a number of other yeah. things. Uh, but, uh, you know, the people are different, times are different, the media is different. So it'll be a real challenge, as Tom and I pointed out uh, in our piece at the, in the Washington Post for Chuck Schumer and, and Mitch McConnell. Uh, but they've got to find a way to work together. We've got some business we need to do for the country, not only on COVID, but the economy and infrastructure. Uh, so what Tom and I are trying to do now is what we did then, encourage, you know, uh, communication and get a, a chemistry. Uh, that was so important part of how we dealt with each other. Right, Tom? Mm. That's exactly right, Trent. I think it's all about inclusion. It's about listening to one another. It's about developing a communication that leads ultimately to collaboration. That's critical, regardless of the circumstances. That hasn't changed in 20 years. Mm. Uh, it's such a good piece um, that you guys wrote a few days ago in the Post. I would encourage everyone to read it as a reminder that you can work productively together, even if you are in different parties. Imagine that. Um, as you mentioned, the Clinton impeachment that both of you led through, mm -hmm. we're about to start another Senate trial uh, for what will be ex-President Trump. Senator Daschle, I wonder if your fellow, but, but both of you, by the way, oppose impeaching our, a Senate trial for the president, which mm -hmm. I think is, is very interesting. And Senator Daschle, I wonder if you think that your fellow Democrats, putting aside um, yeah. Senator Manchin, who agrees with you, are misguided then. No, I, I do think that there has to be accountability. My own view is that we ought to use uh, the Section 3 of, of the 14th Amendment mm -hmm. on insurrection and rebellion as the means by which one judges accountability in this case. That is simply handled with a, with a uh, joint resolution, which I thought was a lot uh, cleaner and faster and, and more efficient. But uh, nonetheless, I think we've got to go on. The House has impeached. The Senate now has a, an obligation to follow through, in my view, with, uh, with the trial. Uh, that just wasn't my choice. Mm. Senator Lott, the, the rules know, Bobby, have uh, changed. I, Sorry, go ahead, Senator. Well, I'm just going to say I got a communication this morning from a panicked member of the family who says, oh, what do we do now? And my answer was, calm down, go forward. He said, go forward how? I said, do it one step at a time. Uh, we need to have an inauguration. We need to get the, the president's cabinet uh, confirmed. Uh, we need to deal with the, the COVID issue with some more stimulus, maybe go to infrastructure. Just begin to do business. Try to avoid places where you know you're going to have a huge fracas and just uh, start getting things done in regular order. That's the point right there, to my point, regular order, because the rules have changed. You, you, you know this better than me. For instance, on judicial appointees, instead of 60 votes, you just need 50 votes. So, so you know, no bipartisan cooperation or minimal required there uh, under Senator Mitch McConnell. You know, amendments much harder, close to imp impossible. Do they, perhaps first to you, Senator Daschle, do those rules have to change back, right, to, to make bipartisan work possible? I don't think they have to. I, I think we ought to do as, as possible to create this new climate that Trent just described. I don't think there's any question that it's possible, it's doable, it really depends on leadership, it depends on a willingness on the part of, of both the Republicans and Democrats to demonstrate we can govern, to end the dysfunction, to end the polarization, to get on with good governance. Mm -hmm. That means confirming 
and it means legislating, and it means uh, holding a schedule and doing the kinds of things the American people expect. That's still a possibility, and it should be a probability going forward. Mm. Senator Lott, the reality, though, is there are so many people detached from reality. I mean, CNN did a brand new poll, and what it showed this morning, I couldn't believe this number, that only 19 percent of Republicans believe still that Biden was legitimately elected. I don't know if we have that number. We showed you some other ones mm -hmm. from the poll. But 19 percent only. Yeah. How can that be in your party? Well, uh, you know, there were a lot of concerns about uh, the votes uh, in various states, obviously Georgia and Pennsylvania. But that was, uh, you know, taken to various courts and uh, dealt with a number of elected officials, including Republicans. Whether you feel that way or not, the fact is uh, it's over and President-elect Biden will be sworn in as president. And we need to begin to focus on the future and quit focusing on or trying to get a redo of what happened last year. You know, I, I didn't like the results, but uh, I right. also believe that the true patriotism is to try to make the system work and support the president you're going to have. That's such a good yeah. point. We are so glad to have you both here together yeah. as friends, former colleagues. Thank you for that message to yeah. America this morning, senators. From, from your lips to God's ears. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, Jim.